in these Chevy gas trucks. So all you guys have the Chevy gas trucks could easily rock this. Now I'll make this for future designs of other gas trucks as well. Let's say Hemi with an H or the the uh, Triton the Triton gas motors and the Fords. So this kind of sucks that this happened, but what can you do, right? So I guess I'm just gonna contact the company, try to get this resolved, but I might just rock this backward logo for a little bit. Something a little bit different. I'm gonna pull this whole thing off. See, that's how it should look. That's what I was going for, but it's kind of backwards. I'm gonna pour some water on there. No. Well, that's the thing. People always go through prototypes, and it definitely didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. I'm gonna have to definitely go with a different supplier because it's honestly it's not as light as I want it to be. You can easily see the the plastic film around it. It came out backwards, and the size seems to be off. I want the actual logo to be 12 by 12, not just the plastic film, because as you can see, there's a lot of just plastic film around it. So let me show you what I want it to look like, and that is down here by the ram can't forget about that truck right look at that it's still all nice and shiny over here and back here this is what i'm trying to go for i'm trying to go for a decal where you can't really see the film it's not transparent and well that's 14 by 14 it would be cool to have that size as well. Yeah, so I just looked up the Carfax for the Beater Beat, and it has information all the way back to the year 2000, believe it or not, it's crazy. I mean, they didn't have the name of the original place that it was being serviced at. Assuming that it's just the same Buick dealership near here, but it has every single year, 2000, 2001, 2002, all the way to 2017, 2018, it has service record history, and that's crazy that it's been able to have all that information for that long because that's that's 18 years of information for this truck because it's the year 2000 yeah for this truck for this car 18 years of information that's crazy there wasn't really anything surprising so i'm not sitting inside showing you guys but it's definitely a well-kept car and it's been running great yeah i don't know about that one gonna have to go to a different company with that because it's just not as i don't even know there's just a lot off with it don't worry i'll probably rock it for a little while but i mean uh i definitely didn't turn out the way i wanted it to finally time to get to this let me open this box up this is not the big box we'll get to that tomorrow but we gotta get to this today If they send that through, they get two. Plus, if the tint is a little bit off, might as well get two. I'm hoping, well, these are a different design for sure, but I'm hoping that it's the same tint. I might just put both of them in and take the other one out so that way I'd have two congruent and symmetrical lights in there. So there we go, there's the light. It looks pretty similar. This one might not be as tinted as much, but they do look nice. These are, This also looks a lot better of a build. Plus you can splice right here if you have to, if you want to, I don't know, splice it for something something into it. So that's cool. I got the box right there. I'm gonna grab some of the supplies that I had before. Clean up the light fixture area. So there we go, as you can see nothing's still in there but I'm going to knock out these old ones that I have in there, two old ones, and then I'm going to clean it up. Yeah, I won't be able to just pull them. Alright, I just pulled it out, that's some super glue left over, but anyways, here is the piece that is probably the culprit. As you can see, this uh, cracked off so I super glued some tape onto it and then taped it on because it wasn't there wasn't enough support to just super glue. And there wasn't a third connector. I don't think anything ever went into that hole. One of these, or it was this, one of these holes didn't do anything, but the other design was horrible, so I'm probably gonna replace them both. Need this light through there. And you basically just press these in place. Isn't that kind of dumb? That's the that's the setup of how you install it. You just press these as hard as you can in, and then hopefully it goes in. So let's do it. There we go, got that in there. 
This one may be a little bit off on tint, I'm not really sure. I'm debating whether to just switch them or just let it go since they're so difficult to deal with. So I got this right here and hopefully it connects to this connector from the fog light, from the fog light kit. I don't see why it wouldn't. We got that installed, it's tucked out, out of the way a little bit. But I guess there's uh, nothing better to do now but to test it out. So I'm going to open this up. I think there's power running to this here. Let's see if there's power to it. Oh, I forgot to unhook the fogs because I figured I wouldn't use them. So if I just slide that. Right there. Now there should be power to this. Yep. Alright, I don't know if you can see that. Green light is on. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah. Back in business with two fog lights on the Silverado. 2018. Some of you guys have been saying uh, put a, I should put the LED cubes in there, but I didn't really think about it. I have bigger and better stuff coming down in the future. Plus, I could just throw some LED bulbs in here, but an LED light bar in there, now that sounds like a good idea. So let me pull this off and let's see if they look the same. Oh yeah, some fresh lights. Gotta love that. So there we go, that's them with the lights on. I think the one on the side may be a little bit... So I'm going to just switch that off, pull the wire out, I think I just put it down in there. It's whatever, now let me get the box back. Alright, there's them with them off. There's that left one. There's the right one. I mean, it's so close. If they're off, they're close, so I don't think it really matters that much. Can't really tell. I mean, they're still smoked lights either way. So I think I'll just keep them on, and then if I need to replace the left one because of poor design, then I'll do that. But might as well get all the life out of and out of it since it's already installed. I and mean, all these unused parts, it's just gonna keep on piling up. And I guess that's what happens when you love trucks. Just gonna throw this out. And of course, you can close the hood now. So as you can see, the wiring job. I mean, it's kind of messy, but there's not that much going around. I've seen worse. And there's how I got that decal. There we go, back in business with two fog lights on the Silverado. Last thing I wanted to get to is right here. Check this out, I never got a chance to look at this. So, I don't know if you remember from a long time ago, the same girl that gave me that axle dump, the double axle dump. Well, I did. I made it a, a side dump out of it. But I think it was a dual exhaust with two seven inch tips on each side or something crazy like that, but it was, four inch piping to seven inch tips. Pretty sure that was the setup, but I got another one right here from her and it's crazy. She gave it to me the other day. I didn't even know that she had this, so I didn't get a chance to look at it because I wanted to look at it with you guys, but it's in this bag and I could see that it's pretty big. So about to open it up here for the first time. And this was actually for me to keep. So I may use it in the future, not really sure. I'm not really sure the diameters or anything. So I'll probably grab a tape measure. Let me do that. Back with the tape measure. Here we are, heavy duty one too, pretty cool. So, about to open this up for the first time, never looked at it before, like I said, this is gonna be great. Okay, so I fixed the camera, I think this is a better angle, definitely, I can actually sit regularly. Here we go, oh my god, I'm not looking, I'm looking at straight at the camera right now. Oh, check that out, look how big that thing is. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So it looks like I'm gonna have to buy, like a, I could buy just a, what, what do we, what do we, what do, what do you call it, hose clamp or something right here, and I could probably clamp it down, but I'd probably need a heavy duty one, I don't know, something, I don't think I'd want to weld it, but that's awesome, look at this thing, look how big that is, that's so much better, this is way bigger than the Silverado, and a lot bigger than that Ford one that I have in storage, this thing is huge, oh my gosh, alright, so let's measure it, and, oh, it's dirty, alright, so it's five inches, Oh, it's so, I'm so, it's sliding off of my hand. It's so dirty. All right, so it's five inches output. Let's see the input. 
input is right about four inches if you can see that four inches and it is a little more than a foot long probably about I don't know, 12 12 and a half inches long so that's cool look at that thing man oh it's slimy I don't know what this obviously it's an exhaust tip but it's been sitting somewhere slimy and dirty so definitely have to clean this thing up probably gonna paint it black I mean that's what I usually do when it comes to anything exhaust not really a fan of the whole chrome scenario well I guess that's probably what it used to be but now it's just kind of like a dirt stainless but all right so let's do like a little comparison now for the exhaust tip that I have on the Silverado and let's see if that one will just the size difference between that one and this one okay so here is the well it's just some water in there this is the exhaust that I have on here. I'm pretty sure it's a three inch inlet to a four inch. This is a four inch to a five. So I guess what I could do is put this on there somehow, clamp it on there, 